All right, hey guys, welcome back. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Titan versus Flex 1500 solar generators. And then we'll uh, have a winner at the end. But first, let's get into the overview of this video. So uh, first off, for energy, we'll talk about the companies as a whole. They had two previous models of solar generators before the Flex. The first one was the Kodiak, which was a really big success with them. And then their next generation was called the Apex, which looked identical, but I had a few um, updated ports, but uh, it's uh, mixed thoughts overall from uh, what I've seen with people's responses to the Apex. And so the Point Zero Energy Titan, Point Zero Energy, this is their first solar generator in general. And from what I've learned is that the company actually took a lot of the, um, a lot of the recommendations that Will Prowse, who is a famous uh, YouTuber in this field, they took all of the recommendations that he had from previous reviews that Will did and put the, put it together in their own system. So uh, today's call to action. The first, first thing I want to recommend is don't just look at my video. If you're considering getting one of these, make sure to check out as many resources as you can to understand, to get a full view of the product you're looking into. And then also at the end of the video, if you enjoy it, please like comment and subscribe and hit the bell for more content like this. So let's go ahead and get into the key features. So here's a screenshot from my website comparing the two. And we could see both right here. And first we'll talk about the capacity. So for one of these batteries, the Titan has a 2000 watt battery, watt hour battery, and then the Flex has a just over a thousand watt hour battery. And both of these systems, you can attach multiple batteries. We'll get into, into that later. Next is the output of the inverter. So the Titan clearly wins here with a 3000 watt continuous rating and then a 6,000 watt surge power. And then the uh, Flex has 500, 1,500 watts continuous, 3,000 watts surge. So the Titan's continuous surge or the continuous rate is equivalent to the surge rate of the Flex. So that's something to keep in mind if you're wanting to run high powered appliances or tools. So battery life cycles, we have Titan 2000 life cycles to an unlisted capacity. Usually it says like 80 to 80% 80 capacity or something, but it, I haven't found any information on that. And the same information I couldn't find on the flex, but I have 2000 to unlisted capacity, more on the battery capacity and the life cycles in a sec. The weight, so the Titan is much heavier with one battery than the flex, however, the Titan, the single battery is nearly twice as powerful as the Flex. So you have to keep in mind that the Titan with the, just one battery is equivalent to basically two it, uh, Flex batteries. And lastly here, this is where I have on my website where to buy them. On this site, I make a very small commission on these, but you can easily buy them at, on the actual company's web pages as well. All right, let's get into the battery. So this is probably the most uh, in-depth part or the most one of the more important parts of this uh, entire video. So I already talked about the capacity. Here's what both of them look like, both batteries. And so for expandability, so the Titan, what the company recommends is that you have up to six batteries maximum. I'm not sure if you can go beyond that and still be all right, but that's what the company, as far as I know, recommends. So with six batteries times 2000 watt hours a piece, you're looking at 12,000 watt hours, which is a, a massive amount of power, not power, but uh, capacity. So the Flex, they advertise on their website that you can get up to 96 batteries connected for a total of over 100,000 watt hours. Now. I honestly don't know besides like industrial purposes, why or or uh, where you would want to have this much battery capacity, but it's an option and they advertise it. So um, the flex wins in this category, but realistically, 
I'm not sure if this is really something to consider when uh, comparing both. And next here for the battery, we're going to talk about the weight. So the Titan battery weighs 35 pounds. So um, the module is 32 pounds, which is quite a bit heavier than the Flex's module. As you can see, the Flex has a 16.5 pound battery, 13.5 pound module. So uh, as you get more batteries with each of these systems, also just make sure that you understand that the Flex battery, it has half the power or half the capacity than the Titan. So if you times the Flex battery weight by two, it's just a few pounds less than the Titan. All right, and then we'll get into charge and life cycles. The Titan is rated at 2000, and then the Flex actually on their website is rated from 400 to 2000. And they stress this because people could easily not take care of their batteries or use them correctly, like store them correctly, or they just use it to, till the battery dies every time. So that's why I have the 400 number there because people use their systems and take care of them differently. So I wouldn't say the Titan is 100% uh, 2000 life cycles because people could easily not take care of their batteries. So I'm gonna still say the Titan wins in this category because a 400 to 2000 life cycle is, uh, it, it's not really uh, trustworthy, especially since it's such a wide margin and there's no guarantee on if you'll get to say 1000 to 1500 life cycles if you take decent care of your battery. And just this arrow here is just to um, uh, basically say that longevity is extremely important when you're wanting to get a system, especially because these systems are not cheap. So care is needed and life cycles are going to help extend your lifetime with the system before needing to get more batteries. All right, next here, we're gonna talk about the ports. This is another important aspect. You wanna make sure you know what you uh, want to power with these systems, and I'll show you what each system has here. I'm just going to highlight some main areas that I wanna discuss, but you can easily just freeze this video if you want to uh, just get a screenshot of it for yourself. So for the Titan, we have the battery display, so the displays, I don't really go too in depth with in this video, but the display is pretty nice. It shows you the important information you need. And there's plenty of other videos on YouTube of people showing this to you. So next here, we have the power switch. Um, it just shows you basically how to power it, obviously. But uh, next here are the 12 volt DC sockets. So these that's all four of those little uh, sockets you see across underneath the display and it gives you the amperage for each socket. And so this is actually where you pl plug in the different USB connectors. They go into those carport sockets. So you could easily have a lot of USB ports if you decide that, or you can maybe have two of these car sockets be for USB, and then the other two, if you need them, be for car ports. And over here, we actually have an RV outlet. So this is very rare. As you saw earlier, if you notice the Energy Apex, their previous model had a RV outlet, but that's the only other one that I know of right now that has an RV outlet. So the Titan has one and it has the power to back it up. All right, and then we'll go to the side view here. This is mainly where you charge different, uh, charge from different areas. So the first part, that I wanna show you are the AC charge ports. We'll talk about how much power each of them can give you in a, in a second here. And then the solar inputs. So what I wanna talk about for each of these, you can attach, and we'll go back to the AC, you can attach two wall chargers because there's two connections. So you can get a big boost of energy that are twice as much power. And the same actually goes for these Anderson power pole connectors. It says max charging a thousand watts that's for a single battery. So you can get up to 2000 Watts with uh, using by using two or both of the Anderson power pole connections. So with the flex, let's go into a couple things here. So first I'm just highlighting right here for B and C, the different USB ports. You can see they have updated ports, USB-C with PD and quick charge, and then they have some USB-A's as well. And the 
last part, I want to show you the EC8 input. So this is where you would connect the solar and the AC charger. The EC8 connector is not common, so you're not going to be able to find that many of those other than the Energy website, unless you want to make them your own on your on your own. Excuse me, where there's a few YouTubers that have uh, shown how you can do this. I believe it's with um, it's like shrink shrink wrap or something, and then I, I'm not sure exactly how you would rewire them, but it's just important to know that EC8 is pretty rare, so uh, you'll will probably have to pay the full price of whatever AC charger you need if you're trying to get another or you need a replacement. It's going to cost you. I think it's around seventy dollars for a standard wall charger, for uh, if you want to get another one for energy. All right, so for charging, we'll talk about the Titan first. You can see here this is directly from their website. It just took a screenshot. So the they have dual MPPT charge controllers. That's what allows it to get up to 2,000 watts of power, as you can see at the bottom. But you need two batteries. And then you have the amperage and then the uh, input and then charging apps. So that's for solar. For AC charging, you can get up to 1,450 watts with two of their 25 amp chargers. And you also need two batteries for this. So if you only have one battery, you can get up to 1,000 watts of solar and then whatever half, so I think that's 725 watts from the wall. Let's go over the flex. So the flex has 400 watts maximum of solar input, allowing you to charge the system with one battery in about three and a half hours in ideal conditions. But they have something called the uh, MPPT Supercharger, which has, I believe, two MPPTs within this supercharger. Now you can see it says three 90 volt inputs allowing you to triple that 400 number to 1200 watts of solar input. But this is a screenshot from their website. If you need to boost your solar charging, you can add their supercharger upgrade, which allows you to add two more 90 volt strings, as I've said, for a total of 1200 watts of solar. And it says you can charge one flex battery in about an hour, which is impressive. So if you have one battery with the Flex, it actually will charge much faster, not much faster, but uh, 200 watts faster than a, a Titan with one battery since it only gets, um, you can only get up to a thousand watts. So with one battery, the Flex wins in this case for solar charging. But for the wall charger, the Titan wins regardless of if you have two AC chargers or not, because the standard wall charger is only a 100 watt connection and the quick wall charger is a little more than double that. And the quick wall charger is an additional $80 if you're looking to get a quick wall charger. So overall, the Titan wins in my eyes because the inverter is way bigger than the Flex. It has a huge solar input, especially if you have two batteries and the system it has all the necessary ports. And those are just a few reasons why I think the Titan wins overall. And the Flex, it's ideal when you want to be more portable because it's lighter. If you just have one battery and the system, it's only like 30 pounds, but you can also go crazy with the Flex and get a ton of batteries and you can get a bunch of those superchargers for MPBT and get up to like 4,400 watts of solar if you get a bunch of those MPPTs and batteries connected. So you could check out their website if you want more information if you're trying to go crazy with that. But overall, the Titan, in my eyes, wins the entire thing. So thank you so much for watching. I have the full article of this comparison below where I just go a little more in depth on what I've discussed today. And then I recommend you again, just to do your research, to get a full suite of what everyone is experiencing with their systems. And of course, like, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell for more videos. Thank you guys and see ya.